Today is your tomorrow. Be proud what's on your plate. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay guys, what's up? I'm Master Trainer Allie B and I'm going to be attempting a hardcore fusion workout today. Um, I have had a very serious injury that has kept me from training, period. So um, I've been following my you know, nutrition guidelines that most fitness models follow, except I am high raw vegan and I am just really, really excited to do my fusion workout, make sure I got some muscle, and um, I am just over the moon about being named Master Fusion Trainer of the Year for Jennifer Nicoli Worldwide Inc. It's been an amazing year of my life. Great opportunities have came from it with the JNL company and all my clients, certifying Montana's first JNL Fusion Trainer, doing three huge JNL events, one in Montana, two in Oregon. Um, this next year for 2012, we will be certifying JNL trainers throughout the Northwest. We're going to hold a big JNL Fusion certification program in February, I believe. We have a big Pilates Ball JNL Fusion workshop January 21st. There'll be lots of goodies to give away. JNL books, Posh Pilates Fusion workshop um, discounts, uh, private lessons to win. Um, you name it. So I'm really, really excited about that. I will keep you posted on how my workout goes today. I will be answering some email questions and I will also be giving you your fit tip. Today is your turn. Okay, guys. So today's tip of the day. What does your health mean to you? What does your health mean? And this comes to me from an email that I got um, concerning a raw food vegan who has a very big website in the raw food community and she has recently decided to start adding in animal products and got a lot of hate mail because of it. Um, she's having a vitamin B issue and um, she was facing vitamin B12 injections the rest of her life. And so she decided to get it from food versus from shots. That's her choice. So what does your health mean to you? I know what my health means to me. She knows what her health means to her. Does your health mean getting up every morning and running a mile? Does your health mean getting, to me my health today was getting infusion. It, it's really building blocks for me. I have a great foundation because of fusion. Had I not been doing fusion and Pilates, Prior to this injury, I would probably not even be able to walk very well. So fusion and Pilates have kind of saved me um, with this injury. But what my what my priorities and my health meant to me today was to eat within an hour of waking up and to get some fusion in. Now I only got through four circuits. That's what my body could handle, and I have nervousness about that. In two weeks, I'm due to be the Ali B superstar who just finished an eight week challenge who can jump rope for five minutes straight. Well guess what, I can't jump rope for five minutes straight right now. My body is not allowing that so much, but I'm trying to just relax about it and do what it can do. I was able to jump for three and a half minutes today without getting any yellow flags about my back or my body or my ailments. So I would say that, what does your health mean to you? To me it meant getting some fusion in, getting my nutrition in line. I'm really happy with that. For you it might mean that you start adding in this class every week or you start adding in a protein shake every morning or it might be that you take your kids on a walk or that you have family night every Friday. What does your mental, physical health mean to you? What it means to you isn't going to mean to your next door neighbor and to me and to JNL and to Robert Cheek or whoever you're working with. Your own individual health. I don't think anybody's ever kicked out of any club, whether you're a vegan or not a vegan or a raw foodist or a meat eater. I think if you're putting your health first, that's all that matters. I don't think it's fair to be judging people on what they internally feel is right and best for them. So in saying that, be proud of what's on your plate. Don't compare it to anyone else's. Just be proud of what's on your plate. If you can look at that food and say, this is going to be the best food for me, and it's going to help me fight disease on every level, and help my hair grow, and help my skin be pretty, and help my digestive tract work better, and strengthen my muscles, then you can be proud of that. 
Think about that. Don't look around at anybody else's plate. You proud what's on your plate, not your neighbor's. Today is your tomorrow.